Hey everyone, Winter 25 pre-release environments are now available. If you don't have one, then you can sign up for one for free. I'll put a link to this website in the description of this video below. But as you can see here, if you scroll down, then there is a section that says get early access by signing up for a pre-release org. And here you can just click on this link and sign up for a free developer edition environment that has all of the Winter 25 updates. Now, these updates won't hit your actual environments until the release weekends, which is due to take place in this period here on the graph. Um, but we are able to use that pre-release sandbox, a special sandbox, to actually try out some of these features. Now, as you know, with every release, Salesforce gives us a whole bunch of enhancements and new features. And this time, I wanna talk about the new enhanced user list view that's coming as part of Winter 25. Now, we're gonna jump straight onto Salesforce into my pre-release sandbox, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So here we are in Salesforce, and I'm just going to go to the setup. So I'll click on my cogwheel, and actually, one of the first things that I notice is that this menu here now has a heading. And they've called it the setup menu, and then under that, we actually have our setups, dev console, and edit page. Now, before we didn't have this, um, actually, there is a little X button here, and I wonder, oh, that just closes the menu. So that's really interesting. That's new, new sort of user experience. I think it's nice. Um, don't think too much of it. I always just relate to this section as the cogwheel. Maybe now I'll start saying the setup menu, now that there's a heading. But in any case, we want to go to setup. So we go ahead and click setup. And then within the quick find, we're going to search for user. And then we click on users. Now, you're probably familiar with this. This is what the users page looks like. It's quite old school, really. It um, doesn't really give you that lightning feeling. If anything, it gives you that classic kind of old school vibe. Um, but this is what it looks like. On the left-hand side, we have some list views. And here we can sort of change between our list views. And if we wanted to create a new list view, we could click create new view. And then we have this menu, which doesn't look lighting at all. This is even worse, actually. I think we're going back in time. So then you have to go through this and find specific filter criterias and what fields you want to display. And then that becomes your new list view within your user page. Now, all of this is about to change with the enhanced user list view as part of Winter 25. First thing you need to do is you need to turn it on. So on the quick find, let's search for user management settings. And then here, I am being presented with an internal error, which is terrible, but we can ignore that. Just hit X. Hopefully, if you're doing this straight into your actual sandboxes, perhaps at a later date, after Winter 25 is already live, hopefully we won't be running into this issue. It's not very nice to see, but we can just X out of that. It won't really impact what we're doing today. So what we wanna do here is we wanna scroll down and then we want to enable the enhanced user list view at the very bottom of our page here. We just want to enable that. So now that that has been enabled, what we want to do is we just wanna hit a refresh just to be sure, hit that error again, why not? And then on the quick find, we can search for users. Now, we have basically transformed our users list view. This looks a lot more lightning. Actually, it looks like we're looking at an object on the front end of Salesforce within an app, which I think looks really, really cool. So a few things right off the bat. On the um, highlights panel on the top right, there is a button now that says new user, and it takes us to this page. Now, I know what you're thinking, a bit disappointed, really nice enhanced user list view, and a not very nice user record creation. But it is what it is. Maybe this enhancement will come next. Who knows? Anyway, we're gonna cancel out of that. You can create a new user with that button. But I think mainly the enhancement is actually the list view. So here we have just your general lightning list view. We have different list views that we can select from. We have a search um, bar here, which is really helpful. So if I go ahead and click all users, for example, I can now see all of the users in my org, not very many. And then on the right-hand side, if I want to change the filters, I can just use that filter icon. 
And then within here, I can change the filters to really help me find the right type of users. And of course, if I want to create a new list view, I can just click on the cogwheel and then click new. And so let's try this out. Enhanced list view. And this just seems just like any other list view we can make in Lightning. I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And then within that, I can add some filters. So let's say active equals true. Yeah, that would be good. Definitely wanna see active users. And then perhaps let's find the profile. Can we do that? That would be awesome. Here we go, profile equals, or actually let's say it contains admin. There we go. I found myself because I'm a system admin. So that's it. Look how easy it is. I think for larger orgs that will have many users, this will be super helpful. You can already do this before, but it's that really old view, whereas now, the user experience for us, for admins, for people that have access to the setup has been greatly improved. And I absolutely love when Salesforce does that. It really improves our quality of life and it makes our day-to-day -day a lot easier. So let me know in the comments what you think of this new enhanced feature and stay tuned for more Winter 25 enhancements. Thanks for watching and until next time.